Good evening, everyone. Jamie Schwartzwald in with sports. I am joined by a very special guest, the winner of the 30th running of the Yukon Quest International Sled Dog Race, Alan Moore. Alan, how are you doing? Fantastic. Thanks for making time for us. Uh, well, it's been a couple days now since you won the 2013 Quest. Has, has it set in what you accomplished? You know what? It, it kind of has that now that I've got a little bit of sleep. Right. Uh, sleep definitely helps after a thousand miles, and now I can think coherently. <laughs> How was that there right after the race? I mean, you just get bombarded with, with cameras and everybody's talking to you. I mean, do you remember much of what was going on? Uh, a little bit. <laughs> yeah. uh, I have people holding me up, actually. Uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, you're kind of tired at that point. But uh, now I feel 100% after two days of rest. So nice. I guess that's kind of my next question. What, what did you do kind of for the first day? Just, just hit the rack? I mean. uh, you did, but the, the ironic thing is you can't sleep very long. You want to, mm -hmm. but uh, you're so used to getting like one hour sleep a day in the race. Uh, so when you get home, you uh, uh, you can only sleep one or two or three hours, and then you're back up. So uh, right. gradually, hopefully progressively, I'll get to sleep more and more throughout the week. Q said after finishing that you know he knew the race was over at 101. When, when did you think that you had it in the bag? Well, you know, it's, it, um, probably at, at Circle, um, he didn't rest much. I went up, and I, I had a plan that I was going to rest for five and a half hours, no matter what. So I went and lay down and went to sleep. And when he saw me sleeping, he had to get out of there. Mm -hmm. He thought that was his move. And uh, he left an hour and a half before me. And I, uh, when I woke up, he was gone. Um, however, my dogs got a lot of rest. And we actually made up an hour and a half on him on that run. And I knew then that uh, I was pressing pretty hard. And it was going to be hard for him to stay with me. Was the decision to go through 101, when did you make that decision? Was that part of your plan? It was part of my plan, and, and that's the reason that uh, at, at Circle, I stayed five and a half hours. I knew I had to have a lot of rest going into Central. Uh, and with that, then that could push me all the way to Two Rivers. And uh, I didn't think he would, could stay with me, especially being on our home turf uh, from the last checkpoint to here. Uh, we have trained uh, three times just before the quest start coming from that checkpoint all the way home and we got faster every race because we laid straw out for them at the finish line we gave them snacks we had the truck running and uh, it worked great they actually speeded up a lot at the end of the race um, you're talking about your team so tell me a little bit more about it um, which are some dogs that really stood out in this thousand miles uh, well Quito especially because she is uh, she's going to be the golden harness uh, award winner. Mm -hmm. uh, last year, well, for two years in a row, she's ran the quest and I did rod and finished in lead. And then this year, so that's the, this is the third year. Uh, so she's probably the most standout dog that we have. Excellent. Um, this was your third Yukon quest, I believe. It is. And it was your second coming from Whitehorse to Fairbanks. What did you learn about running that trail in 2011? Uh, that, that, that trail can be very hard. Uh, two years ago, it uh, uh, Mother Nature smacked us around a little bit, so to speak. Uh, Eagle Summit, storms, water, everything you can imagine we hit two years ago. It was just the opposite this year, where um, uh, Mother Nature kind of was easy on us. Mm -hmm. And the trails were good. Eagle Summit wasn't that hard, at, although it had uh, a few inches of fresh snow on it. Mm -hmm. But uh, so all in all, it made for a good, fast race. And I think, I don't know, we fa finished faster than we ever have. Yeah, and that kind of leads me to my next question. You and you are the only mushers to finish the race in under nine days. And I realize, you know, they had the course change, took American Summit out. But do you still take pride in that eight-day, 18-hour, 17-minute run? Oh, yeah, for sure. Because they actually added four hours at the, at the mandatory in Dawson. So it almost made up for the 50 miles, sure. which would probably took six hours. So, um, yeah, it, it, it was great. And, and it owe it all to the dogs. Excellent. Um, you brought up the Iditarod. What do you do now to prepare yourself for that race? Well, for Iditarod, we're, we're actually, um, Allie Zirkle, my wife, mm -hmm. uh, she will be running the main team, gotcha. the team that I had in the quest, all of those, as she did last year. And uh, so we're preparing and trying to run them every other day up until that, up until Iditarod to keep them warmed up. And then I will be taking uh, probably the little bit younger dogs. I'll be going a little bit slower and probably get a little bit more sleep in this next race. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, Alan, I want to thank you for coming right. down and, and again tell you congratulations on uh, winning the quest. All right. Thank uh, you very much. You bet. That is going to wrap it up for us. We are getting out of here, but you need to stay tuned because Alexis Lopez is coming up next with your extended seven-day weather forecast. So for 2013 UConn Quest champion Alan Moore, 
I'm Jamie Schwartzwald, and you're watching News 13.